Hey guys, we're back on the K10, getting a Turbo 350 in there and a 205 going. I got some new U-joints for the rear drive shaft. One thing I forgot to mention in the other video, I'm gonna have to change the um, always locked in hubs to the manual locking hubs. I'll take the full times hubs out of here. They just have a little cap and then they got a solid gear instead of a locking gear. I'll show you guys that once we get that far, but that's what we're working on today. Oh, I got fluids for the transmission and the transfer case. So I'm gonna start with doing the rear drive shaft, get that up in there. Then while I'm in there, I'll probably do the front drive shaft. Um, I don't think I'll do the U-joints or the locking hubs for now. I wanna get it going. Um, I might do it, it's real simple. I'll decide once we get there. But for now, I'm gonna get the drive shaft U-joints replaced and the front and rear drive shafts in, so. One thing I also wanna mention, if you guys are buying parts, from your parts houses support your local parts houses small, small businesses and small towns they need your help more than ever right now especially in a time of online buying and it's so easy to buy online support your local parts houses support your local businesses keep your small towns on the map enough said let's get this drive shaft taken care of Alright, so uh, upon putting the front drive shaft in, I noticed that the exhaust is hitting the cross member up there. So um, it's not lining up, and if you push it over, it doesn't line up very well. Um, and the mufflers and everything were hung straight up and down, even though that gets close to the exhaust. That's or the header or the drive shaft, I mean. That's how it was. But um, we're gonna try and heat on this pipe a lot and then pry on it pry on it over and um, Get it to line up if not i'll have to cut this and then it did the headers did come with new collectors i can weld them in now that we got a nice mig welder so we're gonna attempt to do that and see how that goes rear drive shaft went in good i'm going to grease that up once we get the exhaust put in place so i can put the front drive shaft in because there's no point in putting the front drive shaft in our way if we're going to be screwing with that so that's what we're going to work on next once that's done we'll be able to get the front drive shaft in and we should be able, everything should go smooth from there. I don't see what else could go wrong, so. All right, I got the driver's side header in. Um, we got this side bolted up for now, just to hold it in place till it cools down. We're filling transmission fluid. I'm gonna get the spark plugs and spark plug wires put back on. Then we'll go back up in the air. We'll uh, check the, or we'll put the gaskets in the collectors, um, put the front drive shaft in. And then once that's done, I'll top off the radiator fluid and then put the locking hubs in. But before I do the locking hubs, I'm probably gonna fire it up and make sure everything runs good and maybe test it out a little bit. Um, the hubs will still be locked in in the front, but I could still try it in two wheel drive and drive it a little bit. Um, 
if I decide to do that, but I might just do the hubs right away. It takes probably five, 10 minutes to do the locking hubs. There isn't much involved at all. So we're gonna keep busting butt on this and uh, we don't have much more longer to go. So maybe if I feel ambitious enough, I'll finish it up today and then we can test it out. guys it's looking pretty good i got the oil drained um got a slight transmission leak but i know where that's coming from it's coming from the ki kick down cable uh i'm not fixing it right now because i want to start it up and get the torque converter and the transmission full of fluid so it won't leak as bad as if i were to take it out now um other than that drive shafts greased front drive shafts in and greased i greased everything while i was at it we'll put oil in it um Fire it up, check the transmission fluid. I gotta top off the coolant and then uh, get an air cleaner on it. And um, I still have to do the locking hubs. Once I get it fired up though, uh, dad wants to go home and eat. And maybe if I feel ambitious, I'll do the locking hubs then. Um, but I want him here to help me fire it up so he can check for leaks. Two, four eyes are better than two. So let's get this thing down, add some oil on it and get it fired up. All right guys, final checklist. We got transmission fluid, transfer case fluid, oil, coolant, power steering, brakes. Um, everything's greased. Everything's hooked up. The, the kick down cable leaks a little bit. I know that. Um, I got to do the lockout hubs in it yet. Um, just making, just kind of going through everything, making sure it's all good. So might take a little bit to fire here. I don't know if the carb is dry or not. I know the fuel system is probably going to be pretty dry. So we'll get her fired up here and see what happens.
is uh, good. We're a little low. It spun the tires a little bit, but then um, we checked it again and it was low, so we're cycling through. We're taking care of what we're gonna take care of. Just seen a little spot on the floor. I think that's the coolant I spilled. Yeah, that's just the coolant that I spilled. Here, I'll double check it with my light. as it's running so that's good other than that it's going it's going pretty good I have a loose connection on my temperature sender I was getting a pretty false reading earlier a second to hop up here now it's reading well I think that's still a still a false read it's reading kind of high I know it ain't warm. It ain't even that warm under the engine bay. Um, oil pressure is good. Oil's good. So we're getting, we're looking pretty good. Let me set you guys down here. And I'll uh, lift the truck up and then we'll come back and try it again. got it finally topped off it took about around 10 or so quarts if i had to guess um seems to operate perfectly fine transfer case seems to operate perfectly fine and both the only thing i have to do is the lockout hubs i'll probably make a quick video on that one um i ain't gonna test it now we got some serious fog going on um we've had it all day today and uh, you can't even i can't even see the road from from here so it's it's pretty pretty bad i don't want to take a chance driving it um, so I'm hoping tomorrow I can do the lockout hubs right away when I get here and then, um, I shouldn't have to do anything other than take it for a ride. So right now I think off camera here, I'm going to throw the air cleaner on it and call it quits for tonight. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoyed like comment. Tell me how I'm doing. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's back. It's finally here. The brown truck. She's up and going. Really excited. We'll see you in the next one.